Hello space nerds, welcome to Microcosmos. Today we're going to be talking about radioisotope thermoelectric generators, which was suggested by Cedric Vrekamp, one of our wonderful cosmonauts in the Cosmonauts group on Facebook, which you can check out right up here. Uh, so what we're going to talk about is how long they really, really last and what their utilities are. For people who don't know, a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, or RTG, is actually just a bit of plutonium-238 shoved into a tube and then they actually have a thing called a thermocouple and a thermocouple is a means to exchange heat into electricity. Now they're not known to be very very efficient edging out around 10% efficiency but the advantage of them is that they're extremely long lasting and you don't have they don't have any moving parts and they last a really really long time as a result of this. So Examples of this are Voyager 1, Voyager 2, the New Horizons mission has it on it as well, and another one that I'm going to talk about in detail is Curiosity. Uh, the Curiosity is the Mars rover, and it has a rather large RTG on it, but it's only designed to last 10 to 15 years after it arrived at Mars. So that'll be going around 2018 to like 2022 to 2023, somewhere in that range. Uh, now this is okay because we're getting the Mars 2020 rover which is supposed to replace it, but it the debate for a while has been whether the wheels or the RTG will give out. I'm going to put my money right down right now on the RTG. Actually I think that's going to fail to provide power to the wheels enough for it to move well before the wheels eventually wear out. As some of you might know, the Mars rover actually has the ability to drive without all of its wheels, so I think that really might come into play here when we're deciding which one will last longer. Now, an th interesting thing to note about RTGs is that they actually have about 0.7% loss uh, in efficiency every year. And it's important to note that this isn't a 0.7 loss from the original rating, it's from the last rating. So Voyager 2 right now is down to about 80-ish percent uh, as of the last time they did an assessment. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to get quite a bit of life out of those and we'll get quite a bit of life out of New Horizons as well. And now you actually know a little bit more about RTGs. Thanks for watching this episode of Microcosmos. If you'd like to like and subscribe and help us keep producing this kind of stuff in the future, make sure to all do that and also drop a comment below. And, you know, make sure to check us out on Facebook or Twitter or really just about anywhere. We're all over the place.